I remember seeing the microwave world a long time ago, and uh, I don't remember some old church in Humpty Center, one of those places. It was really cool about that we got to play today. So. Up next, so stick around. So, hey, what's going on? What's happening? What's what's going on today? It's uh, it's our last show. Yeah. Wow. Hello. Hey, how you doing? A good summer. See you next year. Hey, all. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. So, uh, where are we, Paul? We are at the Local 7. Yeah, what's going on today? Today is a funeral for the late, great Microwave Orphans. Yes. Which I was a part of for a year and a half, possibly even longer, I can't remember. So tell the people your name and your relationship with the Microwave Orphans. My name is Paul Anthony Como III, a.k.a. King Paul III. And I was in the Microwave Orphans, I believe, from 1997 through early 99. So, yeah, it was like December 97 through like May of 99. It was, a, it was a great time that I had with the Microwave Orphans. I would have to say one of Long Island's finest punk pioneering bands with their dancey keyboards, great driving punchiness, ska-influenced craziness, and towards the end, even a little bit of garage. It's been a great seven years. And being that they're the only band from Kings Park to actually do anything ever except for Dream Theater, I, I think that's a, uh, a, an accomplishment. Nice. Especially being you know here on Long Island where everything sucks. So what's your fondest uh, orphan's memory? <sighs> fondest orphan's memory? I mean, there's, there's so many times when Matt just took his pants off and people would just go crazy. I mean, there was a time when we played at uh, Josh's party, and we played, uh, I believe it was Backpack, Oh, probably 30 times. Matt Dallow got very, very angry. And he, he, he ran upstairs. And then he tried to have sex with his girlfriend on the side of the building, the side of the house. Well, first he tried in the bathroom, but then he went outside. And then he did have sex. But nice. sex is good. <laughs> I like sex. So uh, what's life going to be like when the orphans are gone? My, my life just won't be as, as filled as it is now, you know. I'm just going to miss it, you know. It's okay, please. It, it'll, it'll be alright. <laughs> Thank we're, you. We're gonna miss it, but it'll, it'll be okay. Alright, cool. Thanks. Come on, go for it! What's in there? Dead body. Dead body. Who's Look dead body? <laughs> We've been through this such a long, long time. Lava knows coming, lava knows. Wait. No, six feet on this side. Six feet on this side. I didn't even take a bite of you. Try it, Bob. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> Pay your respects, man. Yeah, yeah. Pay your respects. 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 Yeah, yeah.
What's going on? How are you? What's happening? Hi. What's up? What's going on? What you got there? Oh, what's this? Train schedule? A little schedule? Yeah. To get home later. These are math cards for uh. Oh! 
Read it, Jeff. An Irish blessing. <laughs> May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. You're a little close. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. The microwave orphan. Hey, you should read this when you get up there and do your thing. Wouldn't that be special? My thing is so long already. Uh, actually, yeah. yeah, so Josh, blah, blah. Oh, hey, Jane, what's up? Hi. It's just a gesture for the dearly departed oh microwave God. orphans. Here's Matt Orf, Matt Dallow. Wrong Cut, let's do it again. Wrong orphanage. <laughs> So, uh, Josh, blah, blah, blah. hey, Jane, what's going on? Hey, uh, this is just a gesture of my sympathy to the microwave orphans. Oh, how sweet. And there's Matt Dallow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Make sure you show the camera. It's a beautiful envelope. Thank you. Oh. Beautiful gesture. Thank you. Philadelphia. Yes, I, I called Mitch. Are you guys Earth kidding? No. Nope. Mitch is in Philadelphia too. Oh man, it's Ian. What's going on, man? Hey, man? What's up? What are you doing? So, uh, how do you feel about today? Yeah. It's the end of an era. Yeah, you know, take it with stride. You know, do, do what a man's got to do. Get on with life. <laughs> you know, it's tough, but I think I'll manage somehow. So, what's your history with the orphans? Uh, everything. It's a troubled, troubled history. Rocky Road. Yeah, a little bit. Water under a bridge. Yeah, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I explained it all for you. Yeah. What's your fondest orphan memory, being in the band and all? Uh, shit. I'd have to say, uh, Dr. Shays, playing Dr. Shays in like, what was that, like 95? Probably. Playing Dr. Shays in 1995. Playing, setting up outside after the show, like 12 at night, and like jamming out with the drum sets and the guitars. That's about it. Going on tour, that's pretty cool. Other than that, Dave's pretty fat, so we had to break up because we had to make room. You know, we had to give everybody else a chance. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Dave's, I love Dave. So, what's life going to be like after uh, the orphans? Probably the way it's been. <laughs> it's the same. It's going to yep. be the same. Just about. What's going on? You know. Any final words? Any last words before the execution? Uh, no. Quick and painless. Yeah, quick and painless. That's it. You know, it's like shooting the horse that had the broken leg, putting the old girl down, letting her go to sleep. You know, something like that. Thank you. It's the yeah. Blow <laughs> your nose again. <laughs> Quack! Quack! <laughs> Children, it's Bob Ciani, formerly of Freaks of the Apocalypse. How are you doing, Bob? Excellent, excellent. So what was your relationship with the Migrave Orphans past seven years? <clears throat> past seven years, well, it was a rocky relationship. Uh, I met Microwave Orphan at a, uh, at a show one time a long time ago, and uh, Microwave Orphans asked me for their phone number. Asked me for uh, my phone number. And I, I was like, I wasn't sure at first because you know, there was a lot of winking and I heard things about how they had asked a lot of people for phone numbers. And, but eventually I, I kind of gave in and I said, all right, I'll give Mike Wave Orphans the phone number. So and that's how we hooked up. I mean, and it really was like a love-hate relationship ever since then. But uh, I think overall... Uh, I can honestly say that I, microwave orphans are my first true love, and um, they'll always have a special place in my heart. So, what's life going to be like when they're gone? Well, I think that uh, 
Uh, life without the microwave orphans is going to be a lot like uh, coffee without milk. It's still there. It still does the job, but it's just not as good. Andre agrees. <laughs> we're just discussing what uh, the microwave orphans mean to us. And I was just telling them about uh, that time we met them at a bar and what a, what a bar of horrors. Oh, yeah. Matt was like, he was like, he was like on the all fours, like barking like a dog and shit. Uh, right? Sounds like Matt. He was always trying to invite people to Jello parties. Yeah, Jello Jell and... and uh, <laughs> He's always trying to invite people to gelato. Gelato. <laughs> so they were always into that European. Oh, thank God. Any final words for the orphan fans? No. Get over it. They're just a band. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, that's, that's bad. No, no, no. no. I say that. They're, they're a legend. They are a legend. They're, get over it. They're a legend. <laughs> People have to move on. Santa Claus is a legend, you know? And people find out Santa Claus is a real one. They do. His life stop right there. Yeah, then we move on. He still plays an active part in our lives, which the microwave orphans will still play. An active part in everybody's everyday lives. You know what microwave orphans are also? They are excellent conversation piece. You leave a bunch of, C bunch of CDs out on the table, and a microwave orphan CD is one of them. Undoubtedly, someone will come up to you, and they will say, what the fuck is this? And all of a sudden, your date's off to a smashing start because you can now start telling them all about the microwave orphans and how Matt used to take off his clothes at shows. I've never used that. It's good. I've got to try it. Now it's you know. Does it work? It how could it not, right? What are you going to talk about, dinner? How's the chicken? No. How's the microwave? Who are the microwave orphans? Right. Who are the microwave orphans? Who are the microwave orphans? And can I get some of that? <laughs> And how do I get rid of it? How do I get rid of it, right? Uh, that, is, that is a big thing. All right. Thank you, guys. No, thank you. And, uh, and Matt and uh, Jay. And, uh, Mitch, who isn't even here. And uh, Ian, who's my original members there. And, and Matt don't Dow. Forget, uh, and Matt Dow. Don't who's forget really um, Mike Conlin, Conklin, or whatever the hell. Him. And uh, don't forget... Uh, Jay Foley, who got kicked out before Jay, the first yeah, show. Yeah. Look, and, uh, look, as far as I'm concerned, the lineup will always be Matt. Don't forget Paul Coma. Matt. Can't forget Paul, Paul Coma. Ian. Jay. If you guys are out there, you're watching this right now, looking at old footage, I want you to know something. You guys are the best. And uh, anytime you decide to get together again, play a show, we'll be there. And uh, don't call me for money, though. <laughs> All right, we're out of tape. Thanks, guys. Walk away, just walk away. Just turn away.
And, you know, with Andrew, who used to be part of us. Who they stole? Who they stole? <laughs> who stole so, everybody, we stole him from 604, but they stole him from us. Long Island is all about being a pirate. And matey, you got to be good. So without further ado, I give you the backup plan. The song goes out to Matt Roar and the Michael Lee Horton. I'm sure you wanted to hear it. You probably got no idea where we're going to play. Talking about strip clubs. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I ordered these little plastic sleeves to put it in, and they were blue. Touching my mind, Sphinky. And uh, we just sort Touch of touched my monkey. Because they were the my monkey has been fond of you. And uh, Matt ended up getting some blue sleeves for a microwave warping demo. So <laughs> if you see that, they ripped it off from us. <laughs> you know, so yeah, it's a this, uh, the song is off of that. We own the copyrights to Blue. We've owned it since like 98. We own the copyrights to Andy Jones. <laughs> and these are All right, you got it.
Dankeschön. Why are you parked so far? Mike, tell me about how hot the weather is. It's fucking hot, man. It's gonna be really even more hot in that fucking garage we're about to play in. So far, it's all worth it for these guys. Totally. Excellent. Who's playing so far? Bagger plans on right now. Yay. <laughs> Mike Holstrom. <laughs> What's up, 40 late in the basement? Hey, how you doing? The slack up plan? What an asshole. <laughs> that was an awfully short set. Hey! I actually wasn't short. I played eight songs. That's a full set. Think about everyone's talking. Hey! 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 Oh! Yes. 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 shoulder. Yes. 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 What's up, Maddie? Thanks, yeah. Oh, I like that jacket. want it. Yes, yes, I actually want one. I don't, I don't have any of the new music. Come on over here. <laughs> <laughs> Dots are fighting. Yo, Pete. Cat fight. <laughs> Dot fight. Cat fight. Knock her down. Knock her down. Take her down. Take your ass, you bass. Alright, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna put my shoe back on. <laughs> oh, it, it's fucking great. Yeah. What's it like playing uh, Jones Beach? I was behind the curtain. You know, the I'm gonna take a photo. Together, all the pretty people together. Get in there, John. John, Jamie. I'm gonna take a photo. So I want to. Three. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Still there? Talk about the heat. Talk about the heat, Dot. It's hot as hell out here. It's it's so hot, Pete's balls are sticking to his legs. It's not right. True. How hot is it? Very hot. How hot is it? I want to take my skirt off. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I want to take my I want to take my skirt off and go dancing in the streets. <laughs> it's a hot one. I think it's some water. Tell me how hot is it, guys? Tell me how hot is it? It's fucking hot. It's hotter than Alan is, and that's really fucking hot. How hot is it, guys? Josh, how hot is it? It's hotter than a witch's tit in a brass bra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I realize the hot. What the hell did I just say? That was right though. I think it was, was a really witch's great. tit in a brass bra. I mean, why would a witch's tit be hot, let alone, like, I mean, a brass bra would make it hotter, obviously, but why is a witch's tit hot in the first place? Yeah, they're pretty cold. That's what I'm saying. And then we go down this way. It's a good Hi, Josh. That's right here. My torch of man. Hey, Mike. How hot is it? It's hot as fucking balls. Balls. I got some water, everybody else. I want you to meet, uh, that's, this is Maddie Lubinacci. How you doing? This is a newer 
song that we've been playing?
Henry, uh, the other Filipino. Oh. You got a station wagon? What? It's recording still. So this is uh, 48. It's possible the last Long Island show. Hopefully, we're gonna move it to the city. Glad so many people came. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I guess you're stuck on Long Island, huh? <laughs> oh! Oh! You're stuck! <laughs> that was good, uh, ad lib. Yeah, I know, right? I think I just bought these shoes. This weather. Weather or what? What? Who's that? Find out. Okay. You haven't heard that? Whoa. Ah, that was supposed to hit the camera. Sorry, you missed. 
Let's see those pretty, pretty eyes. Dude, that was an hour ago. Yeah. Look at all the people here. I know our, uh, Look at my injured finger. Look at this. What happened to your finger? from his dog. She bit you? No, no, no. Not she. His dog, Roshi, was chasing me. Oh, the Rottweiler? Yeah. I'm going to take a shower and I got all the way to the bathroom. Shower? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I jumped down both of those flights of stairs Good and job. jammed my finger into something. What is your problem? Ow. His mom think, thinks I'm lying. It's like not saying that the dog bit me, but it didn't bite me. Crazy. It just got me really bad. <laughs>
to circle down to the people outside. Stuck on to them like uh, 
shit on rice. We did. So, uh, shit and rice. There were a great bunch of kids, and once a friend of mine was heard to remark, Madaman, they suck. Just because a man lives down the street from me does not mean they're any good. But, you know, they are good. So, it's a matter of time. Um, okay, everyone want to move up a little bit? If not, that's cool, but, you know, it's more fun when we're all fun. Yeah, it's been up here. Okay. Yeah, the fucking Oh, three guys everywhere. We're gonna, we're gonna pose his head. Is that okay?
I'm not exposed correctly. Shut up. <laughs> Jake just goes. This is Lifetime Achievement Award for the most change to the Long Island scene, whether it be bad or good. I'd like to present this award to the four members of Contra. John Burr. Accept this award. It's too hot for this. Can we play? No, we can't. <laughs>
Yes, next day.